Hi everyone, in this video I am taking you to the Cup Noodles Museum in Ikeda, Osaka. This is the same owner as the one in Yokohama, but the reason that we decided to come here was because this was the place where Momofuku Ando, the founder of Nissin, started his business. The museum is just a few minutes walk from the Ikeda station, which is about roughly 30 minutes away from Osaka. The admission to the museum exhibition is free, but like everyone else who visits the museum, you are bound to go for the DIY workshop, where you can create your own unique instant noodle cup for 300 yen. And that for me is considered the entrance fee, which is very smart by the way. So once you're done lining up, the first step into creating your own cup noodle is to buy an empty noodle cup from the vending machine for 300 yen. And now that you have your empty cup, the staff will show you to the place where you can sit down and let your imagination and creativity start working. So these are the two cups that we created and this is honestly the most creative that we can go for at that time and place. Honestly, the people next to us was very artistic which made us a little bit embarrassed but it's okay. So this is where the magic begins. This is where the production line starts. Uh, they take your cup that you have decorated, they put the noodles in there, and the fun part is that you get to choose whatever flavors you want and whatever kind of condiments that you want to put in your noodle. So you can be as creative as you can, but one thing that I would like to share with you, and this is the mistake I made, is that I didn't look in advance what kind of ingredients they have and they only have Japanese written in front of the ingredients so I can only just guess what the ingredients are and to be very honest with you it was a lot of pressure because there's a lot of people behind you and the person who's putting those ingredients in they're also waiting for you to tell them what to do so I was a bit nervous and pressured and I just kind of picked whatever I thought it's um, gonna taste good and honestly I don't know why I went with scallions I wouldn't have wanted scallions at the first place if I had a chance I would study the ingredients a lot more and please learn from my mistakes because I was semi disappointed with how it turned out to be so there you go a little tip from my side they're just sealing all of the cup noodles so that it's nice and wrapped up and clean and ready for consumption. And once you got your finished goods from the production line, you go to the last station where you put it in the airy bubbly package that they give to you, which honestly it took a few times to master and get it done right. So once we're done with the DIY noodle workshop, we went downstairs to the exhibition hall where this is all the Nissin noodles that was ever created and the year that it was launched. So you'll see ones that are quite familiar or the ones that you have wanted to try. And this part of the exhibition is the most interesting to me because it really does take you back in time and just kind of see how it all started in this small workshop. For those of you who think that the DIY workshop is not enough, there's also another more advanced course on creating your own noodles from scratch. This has to be booked in advance, so I would recommend you to look up on their website. 
And once you're done with all of the exhibitions, there is a small souvenir shop that is related to everything instant noodles, which is a total duh. But I am very impressed with all of the things that they have created. So for those of you who are instant noodle fans, I hope you enjoy this video and I really highly recommend you guys to visit this museum. Thank you for watching.